What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today we're going to be doing a GM flip key programming procedure. A couple things we need to go over before we get into it. First of all, this procedure is going to be for if you've lost all the keys for your vehicle. When you program in the new one, it's going to erase any you previously had. If you just need to add a key without erasing any of your old ones, it's a different procedure, but we've actually done that video before, and I'll put a link to that in the description box of this video. First link in the description box below. So the next thing is, once you have your new key, your new uh, flip key, we need to have the blade cut. So you can either do that at an automotive locksmith or a dealership. The third thing is, this is gonna be a timed procedure. You need to allot yourself about 30 to 35 minutes in order to complete it. So once we have those things, um, we have our new unprogrammed key with the blade cut, we can go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so now we're ready to get started. We have our new unprogrammed key, and then I have a phone here that I'm gonna to use to time myself. So we need to put our key in the ignition, turn it to the on position, and now we need to leave it in the on position for at least 10 minutes. So I'm gonna hit start here. I like to wait about 10 minutes, 30 seconds. So once we get closer to time, I'll check back in. So we're coming up on our first 10 minute mark, 10 minute and 30 seconds is what we're doing. So as you can see here, we hit our 10 minutes, 30 seconds. So now we're gonna take the ignition and turn it to off, turn it back to on, and we're gonna reset our timer. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna leave it in the on position for 10 minutes, 30 seconds. So I'll check back in when we get close to time again. So now we're reaching our 10 minute, 30 second mark for the second time. As you can see here, we just hit it. So now we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna turn the ignition to off, turn it back to on, leave in the on position, and we're gonna reset our timer for one more 10 minute, 30 second increment. I'll check back in when we get close to time. So now we're coming up on our 10 minute, 30 second mark for the third and final time. We just hit it here. So now what we wanna do is take our ignition and turn it to off, turn it back to on, and now we can turn it off and remove it. So now this should be programmed. Let's go ahead and test to start. Now you might've noticed there, I've noticed on a lot of GM vehicles, when you very first program in a new key, the first time you start it after you program it, you have to leave it cranked forward for an extra couple of seconds. So that's about it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. 